Yes, sir. Behind the Way Podcast checking in. You know, uh-huh. all day, every day, we are shooting. We got a special guest. But first, let me my partner in crime, my boy, Merck. <laughs> you already know, man, where you at. You know who it is. Around the Way Podcast, we back at y'all again. Got a special, special, special guest. Yeah, yeah man, with real, us. a real, yeah. real rapper, man, from back from back then to now. Still if you know, you shit. know. If you know, you know, man. Mm-hmm. Queens, Queens legend, right? Uh-huh, All indeed. right, yes, sir. Let's go. Introduce yourself, boss. Hey, hey, what's up? My name Grab Ho. <laughs> what up with it? <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> what up with it? Team Bang Dope Gang, New York City in the building. What the fuck is good? What's, what's up, though? What's good, man? Chilling, chilling, chilling. Bless up, bless yes, up, brother. bless up. What's yeah, poppin' with you, Grab? How you been? Just working, man. Just working constantly, nonstop, creating. I don't think I'm here to do nothing else but create shit and, yeah. stay, and stay sane. Stay in your artist mode. That's it, yeah. Create and stay sane. Because this, be sh- niggas be going through shit. Nah, nah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Nah, you got to. And how long you been doing this shit? I know you've been through some sh- ups and downs, so. Hell yeah, man. Let's go back, though, man. Just tell the people that don't know you and the, nah, some of the new new fathers just probably just learned about Graph today. Tell them where mm. you're from and how you came up. Jamaica Queens, man, real MC, true to the culture. I'm about really curating dope shit, representing culture rights, spitting fire. I come from an era where lyrics mattered. Mm-hmm. You could just get hot from the mother mm-hmm. out. You had to be hot for real. Mm-hmm. Outside the street for outside. real. Yeah. yeah, you had to yeah. really be outside. Like, you know, I'm from the club where we was really outside doing the shit we was rapping about. You know what I'm saying? Not, not incriminating ourselves with like some yeah, y'all yeah, niggas. Yeah, yeah. Really, yeah. But even, even shit we were just seeing. Yeah, we were just talking about. Yeah. What happens is going on outside in the hood for real. Mm-hmm. And actually, you know, niggas is actually active. You could ask about me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, I'm from the claw for real, and I rap about shit that really uh, inspired us to, 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 to crave more and go outside and be about more, and, and I'm good at it. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, I could do y'all research and see what's up, man. So, like, who, who inspired you to start rapping? The first, first, first person that really inspired me was Nas, to keep it 100. Nas, yeah. Yeah. He was the first rapper that I noticed that was rapping about what the going on outside his window. Mm. When I listen to Nas music, I'm like, oh, what are you talking about that's going on outside? Mm-hmm. I see the same shit like on my window. I was like, oh, I could do this shit. You know what I'm saying? So that was the first inspiration that I noticed mm-hmm. was lyrical and rapping about what he's seeing outside. I'm like, oh, shit, he's telling the story of what the fuck happened on the block. I'm sure other rappers are doing it too, but I didn't yeah. notice it. Yeah. I noticed it from that man. And you know what I'm saying? And especially back then, like, that was like different. Like, yeah, it was, it was yeah, for, to me, it was like mind blowing. Like, oh, this man lyrical, but he's Talking about what I'm seeing outside my window. Like, and, it's a, and, it's a, and it's a younger nigga, like, you know what I mean? Probably a little bit older than you. So you're like, that nigga, possible for me. I'm like, I wasn't even thinking about the possibility of it. You know what's crazy? I never chased rap, like I never making demos and record deals and shit. Nah. I didn't, nah. I was, you from, you I, from I, that I was, era, so, yeah, you from that era. So. I was going to college to be a doctor. That's what's up. I just ended up a gangster rapper. I don't know how this happened. What, what college did you go to? St. John's University. Yeah? Or the mother. I was, going, I was going to school. I was like, I mean, rap was like a dream in my, in my head, but I wasn't like actively like, oh, nah, this is what I'm doing. Yeah. Like, showing your whole life to that yeah, shit. Yeah, I was just good at the shit and it started working. And, like, you grew, and you grew up in Queens? Yeah. And you went to St. John's for doctor? Yeah. yeah. So you must have had some good parents or somebody was strict in the household. Was nah, I just, I just, was I just, I, I mean, my, my, my mother's the best ever, but I just, I just was, um, a smart kid that just wanted more. Yeah. I knew, I seen the options outside. I was already in the street. I was like, I'm, my, my, my story can't start and in these streets. Hell, motherfucking no. I said, I, I tell anybody if you outside, like I'm not the type of that don't be like, yo, just stop and do the right thing. Like mm-hmm. if I can't provide you an alternative, I'm gonna tell you, do you. Facts. So, I'm, but I'm gonna say, do you with a plan. Just don't yeah. just be hustling to trap your with the sound good in a rap song plan like okay i'm gonna make this amount of money and do, and do this with it yeah and, and then do this next not just i'm just outside I, nigga, outside don't what nigga? yeah you yeah. bugging you hustle waiting for the like chaz my og man rest in peace man he used to always say when you outside in these streets you got to be lucky every day but the police only get got to be lucky once One time. yeah once that's your so if you ain't got no plan b what you doing this can't be your plan a forever are you tripping like mm-hmm. this don't come with no health benefits you can't truly take care of your kids and family with this shit. The risk every day if you want to raise your kids for real, have a real plan B that's really your plan A. Yeah. Make this plan, make this street your plan B Jeez. to fuel plan A. Yeah, yes. yeah. That, if, the, if the street is it your plan sense. A, you, you lost already. Yeah. You waiting for death or jail, ain't nothing that's else true. but that. This money great, but it ain't worth what the, the end result. Cause you, yeah. let's say you make a million dollar street today, right? Mm-hmm. But you get locked up tomorrow. You be happy to spend that million dollars for your freedom. Yes. So why play yourself when that's you know true. what time it is? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Damn. You happy to blow it all. Lawyer gonna take half, you be like, Take all of it back so I can be back outside. Mm-hmm. So I can yeah. get back to it again and do the same thing again. Nah, 
You gotta have a, a plan. Yeah. A plan B but that's really your plan A. I like nigga. that, man. And that's some game right there, man, because a lot of the hustling think it's. Don't that, got that. Yeah, it's just this. They think the hustling plan is Yeah, that's what it is. Nah. nah. Yeah. And, the, and even if you hustling and you do got a, a plan, make the plan be the plan A. That's the legit shit. That's yes. a fact. That make- that you can't put on paper, make that be the plan B. So that gotta be do. the plan B, bro. That, it got, that, got, that got a fuel that plan a plan A. Yeah. Yes. You can't make the streets plan A, bro. Nah, that got to be your plan B to fuel plan A. Yes. If you ain't got a plan A, go home, take some days off from the club and all, this, all these and let dumb shit, and come up with a business plan for what plan A is. You need some business. You got to be a business man outside. Even if you in the street. And this, and this is another thing I tell you that be thinking like, nah, man, I can't do that corporate shit. I can't figure it out. Yes, you can. Because of, if you look at your notes that you keep, in, especially if you outside getting money for real, you gotta have notes. So you got consignment and X, Y, Z. Your notes gotta be impeccable so your money come back right. Yes. Look at your notes, the way you structure your street. That's How your you business plan. Business? You could mm-hmm. do anything with that type of brain you got. If you're successful in the street, but if you suck at hustling, sorry. You suck yeah. at Yeah, you're not gonna be good at that. that. That's just what it is. But you can still be a good businessman. You ain't gotta be a street. I'm just saying, if you understand business, yes. math, numbers, responsibility, how to be a leader, how to put in position. I got these cashed out. These Dr. Simon, I gotta use this to buy real. Da, 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 da. All these numbers and you gotta write down because you ain't memorizing all this. Shit. All these like assignment, all these bought, da, 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 all these pieces are written down. That's your business plan. You could do that shit anywhere. True. You could take that mentality and make money any mm-hmm. music, car dealers, yes, you- stocks, whatever. Yes. Put that same energy into whatever. You're gonna be just as successful. I promise yeah. you. Nah, yes, you can. So when it was, you. what age it was when you got your first break in the game? First real break. Um, I was battling back then and smoking yeah. right above, on like uh, like uh, different like public access television. Like, like I wasn't that, yeah. like it wasn't like the Instagram and all that. Mm-hmm. And the first nigga that got wind of what I was doing was Buster Rhymes. Shout yeah. out to Buster. Yeah, I think he sent the nigga to my school to find me. Like, go find that right there. <laughs> and like somebody, I, that, that's how I think I met Buster in the beginning when I was in school because I, I ended up getting in the game that way. Damn, when, that's winning, crazy. winning talent shows, smoking, battle rapping, and all that type of shit, and then Buster kind of found me some type of way. That's crazy. Something like that. I don't know if I'm telling the story 100 percent accurate, but I think somebody yeah. came to my school and that was attached to him, and like found me in that motherfucker. I was like, what, Buster? Okay, that's dope. That's a big look. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. I was blown. I was blown away. Nigga. You in school too? Buster talking about he want to come get with yeah, you. Yeah, I mean, when I, remember, I remember the first time I got with him. I was still in school, and I'm about to go see me. He's like, yo, I'm a fan. Like, yeah, that's fine. Cause I had a partner in my hood back there. He's rapping and destroying. Mm-hmm. And it was like going viral for whatever viral was back then. And he was watching and paying attention. I remember he, he, got, he got on the phone with my mom. So I was like, what you feeding this boy? He's spitting that fire. I was like, yo, <laughs> you that's, crazy. Like that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. That's serious. That's crazy you say, Buster, because I was watching some shit the other day. And you mm-hmm. and Buster had, you had, say you and Buster had got into a little, you know. Oh, little, yeah, yeah, nah, nah. What to, what to, you know. Yeah, we had like a fight back then. Because I was so ignorant. I didn't understand no industry. You know, he was, yes. trying to, he was trying to show me business. Mm-hmm. I was fresh out the hood. I didn't understand what the f- he was talking about. Yeah. So the way he was talking to me, I took offense to it. And I was like, I need five minutes. You got to step outside. He ain't back down. He's like, whatever. And we got it on. Yeah, yeah me and Buster had a fist fight. Crazy. All that time. Where the motherfucker? <laughs> he wasn't on some energy. Nah, I'm back there now. I was, he was talking to me crazy. Yeah. I talked back to him crazy. Mm-hmm. And I said, f- that we can't resolve it. Let's step outside like men. He was with it. But y'all good though, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I patched up. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, yeah. Hey, yo, so Graf, when I started hearing about you now, it was more at the time when I started seeing like the, um, you know, the 50 G unit rise. I'm mm. not gonna lie to you. I started kept coming around more. I'm, I'm like a 50 nerd. Geek oh, that's what's up. Nah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. G unit <laughs> has me like in the rap. Like I'm looking <laughs> for, stupid. I'm on every website. Uh, yeah. So I started seeing um, Chaz, Black Hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a big homie, man. I'm like, Shout damn, this is nice. He pushing Graf for the uh-huh. So how that came about? How you started messing with Chaz back then? Chaz was like the godfather of the hood. I yeah. just I just knew Chaz from around the way and um Before rap. Uh yeah, before rap. And he just he just we just grew a bond that was closer than rap. Like Chaz was kinda like my pops almost. Our, our, our relationship was more son and father than rapper and manager. It yeah. started rapper Chaz, manager, Chaz, but Chaz, it, it grew into like some family type yeah. of shit. Mm-hmm. Cause my dad got murdered when I was sixteen. He actually got shot across the street from where I was living at and I was I seen it. Yeah, back in New York? Back yeah, in- I was in New York, in Queens. So God I didn't have, God. and he wasn't, he was, yeah, God bless my pops indeed. He wasn't like in my life all the way, all the way before that. He was and wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Because there ain't no rules to just follow us. had to learn, just like I got kids, yeah, I had to yep, learn. Yep. So he wasn't Facts. really there like that. I'm sure he tried, but it just wasn't, you know what I mean? 
And around that time, he was trying to be a dad and be closer and he's playing sports and talking about sports and shit. And then murdered him. My, my neighbor murdered him. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. It's some stupid shit. In Queens? That happened yeah, in Queens. Queens. Of course, my aunt was at my aunt live here. He got shot here. The neighbor that lived right here shot the what? man. Like, what it was about if you don't stupid shit. Yeah, stupid some... shit. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Dying over petty money. He's like, what the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? But it was some dumb shit. I'm about to be, I had to be in court with Shot him and sit there looking at his face. I wanted to jump over the little banister and kill his myself. But I was a kid. I was like, I don't even know if I was 16 yet. Probably 15, 16, something like that. Yeah, so from that, how you, Chaz? Uh, then, yeah, so me and Chaz, just like, he was, he filled the space. Of the father figure. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. for me, that was the person that I, I looked, looked up, up to. Him. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I just, our relationship grew more like son, father, than rapper, manager, because that's, he, 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 he probably knew that then, but I knew that that's what the, he was in my life because that's what that's mm-hmm. he was the he was the only male role model I had. Before that was what I was raised by my moms, the streets, and rappers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I learned how to tie a tie on YouTube. Nigga. There's no man and like showing me sh- besides hustlers outside. Mm-hmm. Whatever mom Luke's telling me, whatever I'm getting from the sh- music. So the streets raise your kids, man. Is the hip hop really be yeah, raising these really, babies? Yeah. That's, that's true. shit. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Like I learned. No mom be at work. I, 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 I learned all my manhood. Sh- Cause then when you when you young in high school and outside, you trying to figure out how to be a man. If you don't get it, you, you gotta get it from somewhere, right? So I'm getting it from the streets and the music. Snoop Dogg said, ain't shit. I was like, wow, y'all not. Yeah. I really ain't shit. Damn, wow, he's yeah, right. Yeah. So all these things yeah. are like really like I'm taking these things dead serious. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So word, that's that, that's that, that's how me and Chaz <laughs> linked up. Yeah, like kind of like that, and then grew grew like that. You know what I mean? So, so when Chaz when, when Chaz was when you was messing with Chaz at the time, when Chaz was messing with Fifty, were you around that time right there? Nah, them Fifty older than me, so I, I wasn't really around like, for that. That's a different, whole different. Yeah, he ain't mad. Yeah, he's a couple years old, so it, it was. I wasn't really around for that, but um, I was after that. You know what I mean? And then whatever issues him and Chaz had. Uh, just it wasn't. It wasn't. You wasn't around at that time. Nah. So they got nothing, none of my business. And yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I don't even know the details to speak oh, on that. Shit. Yeah. I know what I think about it, and I don't even want to talk about it like that. But I, I, I tell you one thing. Regardless of how Fit felt about Chaz, Chaz always spoke highly of Fifty. 50. Always spoke highly of no, Fifty. Even, that even whole even team, Black Hand. Shout out to Black Hand. They, oh, nobody ever really had a real issue with Fifty. He just. I don't even think he knew that though, because he had his own feelings or whatever he feel about. What happened or what transpired, what issue he had with Chaz. I don't know if he ever knew the regard Chaz had for him. Chaz still had real like love in his heart for him. Yeah, no, no, I watched enough of him interviews. I never really hear Chaz say nothing. But never. Know. I'm talking about behind closed doors. He never spoke bad about that man. Like, and, I only heard fifty I only hear fifty say something about him one time. Fifty says some about him a million times. Oh, It'd be it's probably not black and white. Okay, but, that, as simple as slim yeah. uh, as the other one, as in many men, it was more Yeah, petty. that was that was that's how he felt. Yeah. I didn't, you know, that's his opinion. I, I, I'm i not there to, to debate that. Yeah, yeah. But me knowing Chaz, Chaz don't speak about him like a person that he was trying to do that to, but. So hold on, okay, so in that, in that time when you're coming up, cause you rapping at the time and the whole Chaz and Black Hand, you know, 50 and Black Hand, mm-hmm. you feel like that kind of held back your your, your, your music career or anybody? anybody I mean, it, it affected things in good and bad ways. Cause me and Chaz was learning the business together. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So we made, I made a lot of mistakes. I got to take accountability for as well, yes. career-wise and business choices and shit like that. We just learning shit together. It's not like we just, it was no real blueprint for what we was doing. Y'all come straight from the streets to the music. Straight, the straight from the streets to the music. So it's a lot of shit that, that didn't go right and some things went better than right. It's just, mm-hmm. you just try the tribulations. You've been and you learn. But uh, the music industry just chose sides when they seen this shit. So you got 50 That's Cent over here yeah. who's hot as fuck. Mm-hmm. You sign an Eminem, you run in the world, you go Talk diamond, trade, boom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You went diamond. And then they got to choose between you and then these street oh, over that's here coming up. coming up. Yeah, yeah. Gravis nice as shit, but we had a million gangsters that scare us. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, he's very talented, but we're nervous around these. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So now you got that make you scared versus nigga went diamond. Who the fuck you gonna choose? <laughs> Super Even though Fifty is official nigga too, nigga. like yeah. I'm Fifty's a nigga that probably intimidates them too. But you know how to talk, and he's rich, and you're diamond. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna intimidate them that much. Most you're rich and all of these the most successful. They all need you. You know what I'm saying? So they're gonna. They're gonna pick and choose. Some like, oh, he was blackballing y'all. Whether he was or not is irrelevant. He didn't have to. They're gonna choose regardless oh, because they have to make a choice. If you see the way 50 beef, he make you choose. Yeah. You don't got no mother. He says, me or them. 
That's his energy. I ain't gonna lie to so you, man. Uh, that's just what happened. So I, I, I got caught up in that. Shit. How fifty was back then, man? Fifty beef for the, like I was beefing with him. Man. I'm saying so far <laughs> as the street, so he, 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 he was so fan. influential. Yeah, he, <laughs> yeah. he had moms for. So imagine how the industry responded if he's talking negative about something. I think they J- picking I, sides. I think Jada Kiss was the first person. I was like, damn, fifth man, kiss, <laughs> <laughs> not locks. But yeah, I dig it. I dig it. Yeah, so dig wait, it. far as the street politics though, with the rappers and mm. at that time, mm. you peep like how was the rappers, the New York rappers? What the fuck how was, was their energy? Yeah, was they? You or not, they just like, man, you know what, boy, you 50. You nah, 50 they was right now, they, so. Nah, they was, they was always yeah, with me. Yeah, they, they, was, they business, they didn't get into that shit. Yeah, because it wasn't like that. The industry, remember, a lot, most, most industry, yeah. So <laughs> that's just what it is. Yeah. It's soft. So yeah. if it's, you got a bunch of soft power and we gangsters and we're not in power financially yet on the level, then you, mm-hmm. that's just, they mm-hmm. gonna make it. You had, they they the go gate, ride the wave. If the gatekeepers up. that got the bag are in power and they soft, and we make you nervous when you're in the room, they, they go they, with the gatekeepers off the bat. Yeah, they they when you're in a room with certain, if they're not comfortable with you, yeah. they gonna rock you to sleep. They gonna talk to you in a way that makes you feel like it's important. As soon as you leave, it's like phew, yeah, glad them gone. Yeah, that's that. It be like that sometimes. You know what I'm saying? So all that played a role, and then, and then even outside of that, because you could you could still think about it. Fifty was blackballed by. Murder Inc. Murder Inc. in them in the mm-hmm. beginning, and he mm-hmm. still made it. So it was like, I'm not gonna blame nothing on nothing. Yeah, whatever, yeah. whatever, yeah, whatever but, didn't work, this didn't work. It's not nobody fault, none of that. Like the universe got plans for us all in a different way. You know, what yeah, I'm saying? you're right. It didn't work, but we st- you know I mean, Fifty- well, it worked, but it didn't. I didn't become mad rich. You put it that way. I got notoriety and respect I know, worldwide, I know, but I didn't become I know a you fucking. Was. I know you were. Exactly. Like, that's why I know. Like, so back it, in them times, yeah. So sh- worked, but it, yeah. it didn't. It's not like I'm, I got money, but I'm not like. About to buy 10 Ferraris, what color you want? It's not that level, but, okay, but he could do that, you know okay, what I'm saying? But, okay, Graf, like saying that you would never reached that level, right? But you're uh, still rapping, you're still active right now. Facts. Do you feel like that hit's still there? Like, like you feel like you still one hit away from... Yeah, you know? it, but it, it's like, you gotta think, what is a hit? It's like, sometimes there's, like, sometimes there's a record that... It don't gotta be... A, that's me, what I'm saying, me, like... A record, a hit don't gotta be on, built on, on Hot 100. Facts, it's if gotta be hot. The, if I'm walking a damn strip club, or I'm walking on South Beach, and that's playing, that's a hit. That's what I'm saying. So it's like so, so that's what I think, that's what people I think just you define hit by what's on Billboard, but that that's a lot of that shit mechanics and business and numbers, and mm-hmm. that shit ain't free. Yeah. So it's about the it's like the difference between me and uh, Fifth or Drake, whoever the fuck is probably a two million dollar marketing budget. It's yes. money. It's, yes. it's money that makes quote unquote hit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Not so I don't heard. So they paid three hundred thousand for one record before. I'm like, damn, for radio. Probably like two hundred, two fifty. Yeah, it costs it costs to play. It's it, you know you pay to play for, for even just marketing. Playlisting, this, this, yeah. that, all that shit costs more money to work a record for real, for real. Them slots on the radio is already paid for, bro. Slots on playlists is already this business. This shit is a business, music business. Music is this big, business is this big. Yeah. So as you come down to that bread, when you got the bag, that's why you could boss the fuck like that because you could afford the marketing to invest in the shit, target the market and the audience you really want with the money. You know what I'm saying? So, so speaking of the music, the, the lack of money helps you. It hurts you. Put it that yes, way. Yes. Yeah, you Speak, gotta work two times as hard. Yeah. Speaking of the music in New York, right? Mm. You feel like New York lost their identity in music. How do you feel like about the music? Well, scene in, in my York? opinion, I feel like New York got lost. the identity back. I feel like they've been lost the and then got it back. You know what I'm saying? Because at one point, for a lo- like a decade, a couple years ago, New York was sounding like the South. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Because and I don't blame that on just New York directly per se, it was the gatekeepers in charge. Mm-hmm. All they played on the radio was, was South music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So our playlist at the radio sounded the same way that Atlanta playlist sounded at right. one point. It was like Future and Young Thug and all the South was added to radio. So now if you're a rapper, let's say you, oh, you're learning how to rap and curate music and design this, your style in your head and all your influences are just South. Yeah, what yeah. the f- you gonna sound like in a few years? Mm-hmm. So it was like that dictated the sound of the city. Everybody, like let's say you went to a f- in, um, a talent show or, or uh, what you call it, a, a, a sound, what you call them, open mics. Open mics, mm-hmm. yeah, open uh, mic. Like 10 years ago in New York. If 10 was performing, all the niggas doing trap. Yeah. That's all they knew how to do, because uh, that, that was their influence. So yeah, New York yeah. had lost the sound back then. I feel like they got the shit back, in my opinion, right now. So who you feel like, who you feel like bringing it back? Who you feel like brought it back? The, the upstate New York, um, the upstate New York, the big, the, oh, the big um, part of it too, them. man. Yeah, Griselda. I mean, yeah. Buffalo guys. Yes, I'm, so, I'm sorry, bro. That's a fact, I'm sorry, bro. Them guys brought, you know nah, what I mean? They, nah, That's nah. I, I get them props in terms of bringing back boom bap and lyrics and that type of feel. Yeah, like, 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 
me and the locks came yeah. up with like, oh, exactly. Yeah. Oh, nah, you got to get them because they mother props. Yes, yeah. got to. What they did too, what I always think any props about is they made it lucrative and mainstream ish to make underground. That type of music. Yeah. Yeah. That, what, that I came That's up doing, they found a way to make it make money. Mm -hmm. and, they make mm -hmm. it, and they also made it make it look good too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, they 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 turned underground lyrics, rap, bars and shit into like high fashion and art, which is amazing because I've been doing it at a high level and marketing it as, as art, but they just they did it in a way that was digestible and worked and people bought into the shit in a real way, which I salute and tip my hat to them because before them, in my opinion, I didn't see how to make money off this level of, of rap. I didn't get it. I was like, I'm gonna be outside forever, trapping my off and pretending it's rap money for forever. I didn't understand how to make that uh, translate into my bank account. They figured that shit out. Mm -hmm. And that's why you'll see a immersive a, 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 a resurgence of spit in the game. Yes. They're like, oh, shit, I could just rap and be myself so, and make this brag. Yeah. I ain't got to conform at all and still eat. Because yeah. when you win, I compare everything to the street. I'm a street guy, I ain't gonna lie. I compare everything to the street. So if it's better than being outside, I'm a it. So, yeah. And plus I'm a versatile artist, so I make all kinds of music anyway. But sometimes you gotta do what you feel is gonna make you eat. Yeah. Especially if you outside trapping, you want out. Yeah. Only these niggas lost as want in and want to stay in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Real niggas do for them. Real niggas really did this trying to get the out, God, boy. Yeah. We ain't trying to move back. But some niggas been lying so long on their music. Oh, when they get some money, they run into the hood to do street. Yeah. Now they gotta justify this gangster shit. Like, oh, now nah, I got an image to uphold. Mm -hmm. You a real nigga, you ain't got a whole shit, nigga. Mm -hmm. I already did this shit about yeah, what yeah. you think about what I did. I don't even talk about it. I be lying about this half the time. Like half my career, I was outside. I'm lying like it's rap money, nigga. You don't need to know. I'm what the f like. I don't need your approval. I did it for real. I don't give a f about that. It be the nigga that don't yeah. do it for real. That really need the approval. Yeah. Really want to go on. Like, Never came with a fortune, man. Guns and money. Like mm -hmm. you catch me online with guns and money. You out your mother. Line. I'm not incriminating myself like you. Yeah. I don't have, and then really do it. If you really did it, you don't want to do that online. Never with police. No, you're smarter than that. Yeah. You crazy? I've been trying to convince you I was in a, a street this whole time. <laughs> you mean? So now, Graf, I'm going to ask you, right? Because, you know what I mean? You're one of them old school rappers. Well, it's still new school. But you're from back in the days. Mm. So a lot of them on podcasts. And I seen you on My Expert Opinion. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Math and them boys. I seen you on that for, for a minute doing some shit, talking that game. Mm. Um, You never thought about doing no podcast? Like, you know what I mean? Like, nah. That, that, I, that, I, that ain't you. I'm in, I'm in talks about it because niggas are talking about money. <laughs> I see, I see camera I on Mace right mm -hmm, now. I see mm -hmm. listen, man. podcast beefs now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's funny. Mm -hmm. Podcast beefs. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, you didn't see that? Shit? I did see it. I did see it. I did see it. I seen it. But just, just yeah. I respect any that any nigga that can reinvent himself and still get a bag. Hey. You know, I don't knock nothing. Like it's yeah. business, man. You you are an entertainer. You are here to serve the people. This entertainment mm -hmm. and however you do it and get your bag, I salute it. Facts. That's that's a big fact. So. But there's podcasting, or you want to do sports, or tours, or whatever clothes. Mm. However, you decide to, to 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 create and release this energy that's gonna make you that bag. I salute. The shit. I would do a podcast, and not that that my passion is in podcasting, but I love that. I like to entertain. I like to talk. Yeah. I like to yeah, reach the people. Exactly. If I building. can reach the people, yeah. I'm with that. And if I get a bag while I'm doing it, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, Sign me up. Yeah. I just want to reach the people and express yeah. what I got to say, whether it's through music, through art, through clothes. So, you know, I be. I, I put I sell art as well too. Like even yeah, on even e, even all my albums that I release, right? I always link up with a dope artist to make all the covers mm -hmm. and all the artwork. So my artwork for my albums are not just ever just a cover. It's an art piece that okay, we took so, a picture of and mm -hmm. made a cover. I got an Xbox One too. Since you're saying that, sorry right. to cut you. You got one with gigs, man. When y'all got two AKs, that was that was like one was like gigs AK was the the, the bell. Big Ben from the Big ben. UK. Who, that was you? Nah, my oh, man. I was my, that's say, what I'm saying. Nah, nah, nah. That, that, that's some creative. I'm like, no, no, nah, nah, look, my man Misha, shout out to Misha M. Dot. Yeah, he created it. the art and all the art pieces for the uh for the album. And I do that, I did that with a couple albums. But these these my art covers are not just covers, they're art pieces that you could go on my website and buy and hang on the wall. They big ass 37 mm -hmm. by 37 art pieces. Yeah, these I, are, could, I could buy that as a um as a canvas. Right now, hanging on the wall, this biggest okay. all, all my so I've been I've been combining music and art this yeah. whole time. It's just that maybe I don't market it hard enough for y'all to understand. Like I'm really selling art in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like these are all art pieces. So shout out to M Dot. He's fire. I give him the ideas that I oh, and and in the field, and he just comes up with this crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we really doing. But so you like, always been into art, like always. Like, I go to art museums on myself. I'm yeah. just, I'm just into art. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like 
I released this album. It's called All the Words. My man, 38 Special did all the beats. Shout out to 38 Special. He's another real nigga. I need to have him on the show, man. He's, he's a solid guy. Set it up for us, man. I know I do that. Special my I do that. I do that. Facts. But uh, he produced all the, all the beats to this album. It's called All the Words. I released the project at the Soho House in New York as an art show. I didn't release it as like a oh it's a hip hop show. I released it as a straight art show. We mm. in there selling art, like a gallery, and we, and we yeah, it was yeah, an art, it was was art gallery. We turned the f- their their event spaces to an art gallery. We selling art, and we just happened to perform rap because we rap too. Yeah, but I'm selling this. I'm selling art. That's what we doing over here. That's, Man, a big that's wicked. That's Word. wicked. Hey, so, guys, <laughs> we're live. Yeah. I don't want to get no chatty like, patty. Sh- but no. my bad. So you got something? Nah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I don't want to get no chatty patty. Sh- man, but <laughs> what's up? <laughs> that's going big, crazy uh, right now on graphic. I can't have you right here and not ask you your opinion after I see you on expert opinion, my Okay, guy. about what? Tell me, tell me. <laughs> I seen this with Proz, allegedly. They oh. said Proz an informer. Uh-huh. Do you feel like there's enough more niggas like that that was back in the days, old school rappers that was plants like that and we ain't know what's going on? I'm gonna answer it in two parts. One, I, I haven't studied the Proz thing okay. enough to know if he, if he, cause I gotta see paperwork before I, before I put that, that title on a nigga cause I'm, I'm from a different era. Uh, yeah. era. So if I don't see paperwork, I'm not gonna speak on you, on your yeah. situation. That's just me. Yeah. I don't do the internet shit cause no, 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 why, why, why I come from labeling this, you could die. die. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Well nowadays shit weird cause a snitch with money is still be- He ain't told me, he, still, yep. he got the bag. Out here. I don't yeah. understand it, but <laughs> yeah. I don't come from that. Crap. So yeah. if I don't see paperwork, I ain't gonna talk about yeah. it. So prize, yeah. we gonna leave that Hello. in his own box right here. Put a bow in it. Put that over there. Okay. I don't yeah. see it. I, don't, I, I ain't see it. Right. But in general, be telling like I me. Mean, yeah, be telling. I be knowing. Chaz, I don't know rap man. Chaz was the illest ever. Right? Let me tell you. This is what you don't know about Chaz. About Chaz. So I don't even. I don't even know how he was a gangster magician. He used to have a stack of paper like this with everybody paperwork. If you told, he know he got it in a vault and in, in print. He got your paperwork. I don't know how the man does these things. That should fill up that whole uh that whole drawer right there. He had a stack like this. He said, but you told or you're, if this is in question, he got the proof. If you didn't, he got the proof too. That ass, a lot of ass, bro. Yeah. If you were, even if you do you don't understand, you could do time, right? Let's say you have a 30 year sentence. Yeah. You could do five years of your time, work with them people to get your time cut, and it won't be documented on paper. People find the paperwork, and you come early to do some real n- time. You still got off early and put a couple of them in jail yeah. to mm-hmm. get out. Mm-hmm. Be telling left and right outside. Yeah, but Graph, I'm, I'm, it, it go yeah, down. I gotta say something, Graph. You said, if you and some to... snitches get paid to do the Snitching no, is a job. Yeah, paying, yeah. Yeah. Snitching, snitching is a, a full time job. job. Yeah. yeah. Hold, hold on, Graph. Snitches said, is balling out here. You should have wanted to that. If you don't see paperwork, <laughs> you can't call it. Snitch. I, I can't. Like, I can't I, label you like that if yeah. I ain't see it myself. Unless, unless, unless I see it put in, like I said, oh, he didn't put Bobby J in prison. Yes. Yeah. I seen that. Oh, my, oh, you. Oh, nah, you rat. I don't need no paperwork. For, okay. Nah, then it's obvious. Okay. Yeah. No, I know what's no, up because I know that snitch before. I know I'm not me, but I, it's done happened before. Yeah, and it ain't no paperwork. Paperwork. paperwork yeah. Be like that. Yes, not yeah. no paperwork. Sometimes it's a tricky game that that telling. Shit. Yeah. The police don't always put your business out there because some. Be snitches for life and getting paid and be snitching for decades. You feel me? Putting it away. It happens. Shit go down. Snitches be getting checked. Like, oh, did they pay taxes on that snitch money? Pay taxes on snitch dollars? I'm not sure. Can we can we research that? They get paid by I'd the like government. To know. So yeah, government take some of that money back. I keep yeah. it all. I don't know. So yo, tell, for me, real. tell me one of your legendary battles that that we might not know about. That back then, there's a lot of in the street, man. Like uh, oh, mostly street. Yeah, it was mostly street shit back then. Who the about it with a name back then? I don't Remember. And uh, speaking of battle rap, let me salute them because they turned it into such a, 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 yeah. a crazy ass sport. Like the level of genius that it takes to be a battle rapper in this in this climate, I, I tip my hat to them. So, Graph, you get on that stage, I get on that stage with another rapper, not a battle rapper for real. They're too good at that. Shit. That's shit called a hip hop theater. Oh, you keep it the one thousand take, off take, the nah, back. I'm gonna yeah. keep it a buck because I seen you say they, so the other they day. Too good at the art. They turned. They took the art and created a whole other thing with it. No, that I believe that. That's true. Hip hop theater, and That's I respect true. it too much to be like, yeah, f- man. No, no, no. It takes a certain level of genius to yes. do what they do yep. flawlessly. Mm-hmm. Nah, nigga, That's them, them the best in the world at that. Because if they weren't the best, they'd be other niggas. It's this. This stage is open to anybody in the world. The best nigga. Doing it, mm-hmm. and if you was better than them, you'd be there. You'd be there, so, yeah. It's like the NBA. Let's, you know what I'm saying these are the best we have. There's some other that's great that don't make it, but that's the best niggas that got through. You know what I'm saying? I say only another battle, only another rapper your battle. 
Yeah. If you rap, then I'm going to smoke you. Yeah. I'm going to keep it a buck. Yeah. I'm going to smoke all you. That's just that. If you dance on the stage with me and you were rapping the same, I'm going to smoke you. We ain't got to even discuss it. We ain't got to name names and start no I'll, shit. I'll, I'll just go name smoke one. I'll just go name one. Man, as, long as, I'm smoke all you. as long as they a rapper. If you're a rapper, I'm going to smoke yeah. you. Yeah. That's, we could just leave it like that. Whoever, if you rap, that's your title, MC. You got the MC in front of whatever name you got. I'm going to smoke you. Yeah. Next question. So what you is, <laughs> what you is not, because I know a lot of young people in New York right now excited about the, was excited about the Knicks. You a Knicks fan? I'm a Knicks fan. I'm a New York fan. Dude, I'm all. I'm New York. <laughs> thing, man. Yeah, man. You just I don't give a fuck. You. Knicks keep losing. I'm New York. Everything. <laughs> I don't give a. <laughs> Blue and orange, baby. <laughs> so you ain't switched to Brooklyn. You said what? You ain't switched to Brooklyn. Uh, I've, I'm Brooklyn too because okay. I'm a New York. But I'm a Knicks. I'm, I'm with the Knicks though. We gonna go. We gonna go Knicks, Knicks, Knicks with it to right the heart. Now. Yeah, we gonna go Knicks with it. But shout out to the Brooklyn Nets too because we just New York with it. So right now, like, if you make right now, if you making music, how do you approach like where your mind set on? making new music, do you keep it like the back in the day feel or you try to give it a little bit of this new generation feel in it? I mix it all up because yeah. I, I'm, always a, I'm always a part of the change of hip hop because I'm outside, I'm on a you concrete, know what's going so on. I don't miss yeah. so yeah. my always gonna be sound new and innovative yes. or first or creative because I'm a part of the wave when it's changing. You know what I'm saying so when I approach music, it's always from a, a standpoint of- um, Knowing what's going on basically. Yeah, just, 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 just being next and being first and being dope with Mm -hmm. Like you'd be amazed, you'd like when well, tell me something finish you know, but I yeah. write for a lot of people, man. A lot of is dope. I probably wrote. <laughs> Damn, I ain't know that. See? Yeah, I ain't know Top that. Secret. I, I, I never say names because I'm not type. Of, but so there be some records I might make that that that's that's dope, but it might not. My fans might not accept it from me the way mm -hmm. I would love them to. But my creativity takes me everywhere. I'm like a real creative at heart. Like I just make. I don't go in the studio and be like, oh, today I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do it. No, I just do whatever the music says. Whatever the beat sound like, if I like it, I'm gonna body it. And I feel like as an MC, your job is to push limits and do every type of record. It's not like, okay, I make boom, bap, I'm only gonna do that. You shouldn't only do Yeah. Don't limit yourself. Why? Yeah. If you could do it, do it. I think if you limit yourself, it's because you can't do nothing else. So you do wanna glorify what you could do best, which is fine for you. Mm -hmm. so you can fool your friends, be like, nah, this is the best. So, nah, that's all you can do. I can do everything. Cause I'm just a creative that and I like everything. So I just dabble in whatever the fuck I like. Okay, you said writing for people. Um, would you consider just because you wrote a record for that he can't be a, um, considered an MC? Hell no. Nah. Well, because some of these, some that I, sometimes it's just creative energy and it's just yeah. a different sound or something new, but a lot of talented is you know, it doesn't make you less talented because you take help or influence in somewhere. Nah, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just business. What about, what about would you? Yeah, nice? would you ever let a person write for you? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but I yeah. hook, so some melodies and that. Yeah, the bars, exactly. I got, I, my head is full of them. Too many bars and shit. makes no sense. At but first, like in terms of like hooks and records and ideas, yeah, I take influence, absolutely. At first I was against that, like, yo, making a life for you because when I first came out with Meek and um, Drake, I was like, damn. But when I think about it right now, like, nigga, you got a, a hundred hits. So if a nigga write a few songs to you, what's the biggie? Right, now I get you. I mean, look. You know what I mean? That, that business is business, man. Business is business and it's about creative energy and everybody wants to be the best. This they're not concerned with being the best rapper. They're concerned with being the best, period. Yeah. yeah. When you were MC, MC, you're concerned with being the best rapper. That don't always pay the bills. They just want to be the best no, at whatever the feel, arena is. No, I feel different because- I, I, like, I want to be the best MC. On, That's on, just my own nah, little personal nah, shit. Nah, but, but hold on, hold on, Graf. Hold on, Graf. Nas think he the hardest MC. I just seen a nigga Quentin Miller say he wrote for Nas. That don't mean nothing because he wrote for Nas one song. Nas been made 20, 30 years and he might have just He might have just wrote a hook or he, he might have had a line said or two. That, Who he knows? Said that easy? Yeah. He said what? He wrote for Nas. Yeah. But he probably ain't write no verses. Yeah, what he, I mean, I don't yeah, what he know, say in I, detail. I'm like, assuming he probably wrote a hook or gave him some ideas. Like, if I'm yeah. a student writing, he got a hot idea or a hot line, or, oh, that's dope. I'm going to freak that. Like, mm -hmm. fucking ideas and shit. Ideas and creative energy, it's all welcome if you respect the talent in the room, which okay, you know so, what I'm saying? So, so you will take a few in the room. But, uh, he might have a dope melody. Oh, he might yes. have a dope hook. He might be like, try this beat. Like, yeah, I'm not yeah, selfish. Sure. Like, yeah. I, I like just cool ideas. Like, I, I collaborate and create all the time. You know what I'm saying? So. But like my verses, I'm I'm too much of a rapper's rapper to take that. Yeah, 16 but from I, but if you have a line yeah. or idea, I'm, so you can have uh, you can might you might not even rap at all. Have a good idea. I'm like, yes. oh shit, I'm a f that. Yes. Yeah, that's just my my brain all over the place. And I get what you're saying. No, you're you're kind of rap. You're too lyrical. Uh, yeah, far as a, I'm too I'm too I'm too stuck on yeah. I'm too stuck on being the best. One day I'll put it down, maybe. But today I'm too stuck on being the best, and that's just what the. Graph, you trying to tell me right now? I know they call you and say, Graph, I got one for you, bro. Just gotta switch it up. I got the melody and everything. I'm with Drake if he do that. Yeah. Cause he gonna have melodies and ideas that I'm not gonna think of. So I got a 
I'm not gonna turn down no dope ideas. That's not what we're gonna I do. I got a perfect verse for you, man. I'm about to hear it. I don't know. <laughs> I might yeah. take the melody and then perfect do my verse. little. I might take the, the melody. Verse perfect boy. I, like the I might take the melody. You know what I'm saying? I might take the melody and spend, do my little boom bomb in there. But he gonna have a melody. I, my brain wouldn't have concocted. So, all right, so Graham, I'm all ears. This is the next one right here, man. I don't know if I'm tripping because I know I know rap. I mm. ain't no young. I know rap. And my brother over there, Ben, put me up on rap. I know Slow. about. I know about Black Moon them from back in them days. Oh, facts. Yeah. So, I see this. Jim said that. Um, what's his name? Young boy. No. Pusher. Pusher, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He said Pusher, Pusher yeah. don't deserve to be top 50. I don't know. He might have an issue with Pusher. I don't know. I think Pusher's dead nice. That's my opinion. I'm Pusher. But I'm Jim, my too, though. Yeah. But, like, I mean, that's his opinion. No, we were talking about... What the, my, yeah. my opinion, now, Pusher's definitely top 50. 50. Pusher oh, yeah. get busy. Push. Pusher get busy. Yeah. That was... Uh, yeah. yeah, that was... I'm glad you asked yeah, that, push, for real. Nah, Pusher get, push get busy. That's kind of crazy. Pusher. If you make my playlist in the gym... Pushes on the gym playlist. He's in there. Pushes that. What's in your What's in your playlist right now? Give me that. In my gym playlist. Give me five. Just five artists in your playlist that you listen. Pushes in there. Benny in there. Jeezy's in there. Uh uh uh. uh Vibe Cartel is in there. Movado's in there. Okay. Popcorn is in there. Okay. Thirty eight mm -hmm. specials in so, there. So y'all man in there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Jamaica yeah. is fully in the building, man. Shout out to all the y'all man out there. You know how we do this. Girl, yeah. Up, up, yeah, up. Y'all run thing. You see me? Up, your background, up, your background up, is Jamaican, up. right? You said what? Your, back, your background is Jamaican. Yeah, I'm Jamaican. Yeah. All the way. I'm a Jamaican nigga from Jamaica, Queens, New York City. <laughs> Jamaica. <laughs> Jamaica oh, ball. Everywhere is Jamaica. With this Facts. <laughs> Word. So yeah, y'all man, we in here, son, for real. I was just told. I was just, I was just telling um um um. Third world on outside how Jamaicans are. We just, we just, what, he some oh, he right there. Yeah. He, we super prideful. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We just, we just, we just, we got that energy. We got that swag. We got that sauce. Jamaicans just can't. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Word. Man, Graf, we had a great conversation, man. You came through. You came through. Facts indeed. Nigga. I just seen you outside. I'm like, yo, Graf, come through, man. Come bless. And you like, yo, I yeah, got you. I fuck with. Kept your word. Came through yeah, here. And that's what I do. So Real tell, niggas. Tell us what you got coming out, go, coming out, and what you got going on before you come leave around away. Um, new album with with uh. 38, produced by 38 Specials out right now. It's called Auto Words. Yeah. As a matter of fact, me and him got another album about to drop. We did two. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna get another one. Oh, I, I don't got the name of this one yet, but yeah, it's coming. So we got another, I got another 10 songs from y'all produced by 38 Special. Uh, my Tyler Quali just smoked the verse. He did it out here in Miami, here yeah. like that yesterday. Yeah. So Tyler Quali is on there, went crazy yeah. on the verse. Stupid, I'm stupid. I just heard it on the car riding over here. Me and Third World Dawn just playing this shit in the car. Goes, Tyler went crazy. But, so he's on there, Jim Jones is on there. Uh, 38, of course, Benny the Butcher on there. Mm -hmm. It's another one, nigga. So y'all get, get stay tuned for that. Yes. I'm just gonna always keep working and creating and coming up with dope ass. I love that. I love that. Touring is in full effect. I'm gonna be in the city near you soon, you know what I'm saying? Graf, before you go, right? Uh -huh. A young, a young coming up right now. Mm. What, what you'll give him advice with how the game going right Quit now. Quit now. Nah, let me stop. <laughs> oh, young coming up. I, I <laughs> 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 Quit. Sell so crack. Nah. The best thing I tell you. Coming up right now is um is uh go hard and be yourself. Yes. Don't try to be like nobody else. Cause nobody could be you. You might bring something to the game that nobody could do. Or you might get on another way that nobody got on. You could do something new that ain't done yet. Just be you. Don't watch the next man and do that because it seemed trendy or seemed like the easy way to get on. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. And don't just focus on just content, content, content. Even though they tell you to do that. Oh, yeah. content over quality. F that. Yes. Do on it. Don't just do just to be hot. Don't do just for numbers. Even though that works, don't be that. Yeah. That's my advice yeah. to you. You could, That's the way that could work. There's a lot of ways that could work. You can read the 48 Laws of Power. They tell you a bunch of ways to get rich. Mm -hmm. Step on niggas, get to the top, mm -hmm. take credit for shit you ain't do, all kind of foul ways to get to the top. Those things work, but you don't have to do that. that yeah. You know what I'm saying? True. So my advice to you is do it your own way. Don't listen to nobody. You could be whack as f Who cares? Do you. Mm -hmm. Even if you suck, do you. Mm -hmm. Whack Get rich every day, B. Mm -hmm. Do you. That's my advice. Do yeah, you, do. your way. Don't follow no man. And that's it. That's you know what I'm and believe in yourself. And if you do music and you outside in the street for real, please, all young stop telling on yourself in this music. The police are listening. Mm -hmm. Please, they read that shit in court and you going to prison. Talking Rico this, Rico that. Stop telling on yourself in this music. Change the names to protect the innocent. Stop naming dates and real. It really happened in the music. Yeah, it sounds good, but so what? Mm -hmm. Stop telling all yourself in this motherfucking music. I hate that shit. I hate seeing young go to jail before they buy their mama a house. I hate it. You just get on, whole crew on there, diamonds, cars, all that, then boom, you get a Rico charge because of some songs. Some Nigga, shit. stop telling all yourself in this music. Get off the Instagram with proof of crimes. Yeah. Stop that shit. 
for entertainment. Talk your real sh- songs, but sugarcoated. My songs are full of real sh- mm-hmm. but it's sugarcoated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I was I was fortunate enough to grow up with certain OGs who made sure I sugarcoated yeah. that sh- Chad used to walk in the room with certain songs I say, say, take that out. Like, nah, f- nah, nah, take that out. Yeah, certain up. names, like mm-hmm. if you was a rapper or somebody in the street and got robbed recently, that be in my song the next week. <laughs> such and such got robbed in the barbershop. Chad's be like, yeah. nah, take that out. I'm like, f- yeah. nigga, what you gonna do? Take that out. So they, you hear me say something like, like in one song I said, um, so I'm a ride with a gun. Cause even what you might call it, I ride where you from. Somebody name was in that what you might call it space. Yeah. Chad said, yeah. take it out. I don't yeah. know. I talk crazy. Yeah. But Chaz, but, but Chaz was that person that, yeah. Yeah, so he, so I was fortunate enough to have direction. Some of these don't got direction, so they mm-hmm. do, they being crazy. So I get it, because I was crazy too, but I'm going to help try to lead as much as I can and say, do not incriminate yourself in this music, on this mother Instagram, please erase that. Amy and song who really caught a body about a week ago. Mm-hmm. It sounds dope when you're not thinking about it, when you're just making the music, but when you see they actually read that short, you'd be like, yeah. oh. What the f- that's, different, that's yeah, different. So please, don't tell yourself in this music and just be yourself. That's my advice. Facts, facts. That was a hell of a gem, man. Dropped from round, round, dropped on round the way. Yes, <laughs> bullet, bullet, bullet. <laughs> Another I show, mean. baby. Check hey. it out, man. Round the way, man. Yeah. Yeah. Real facts, facts. Appreciate Respect, y'all brother, for coming through. I mean, I am in. You already Let's know. know. Oh, shout out to World Dawn. Shout out to uh, Big Money. He's out here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. World. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. My world in the building. I got to have him next, man. That's a real. Soon, yeah, yeah, yeah facts indeed. Through. Facts. It works. So bless up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, ready. Brr.